Hi friends, happy Monday. I have not been at the grocery store in over a month with everything that's been going on with COVID-19. And one of the reasons I've been able to avoid grocery shopping is daily harvest. So I just got a new delivery and they have a few new products which I picked out. I'm such a fan of this company and I can't wait to unbox and share some of my favorites with you this week. So all of the food comes packaged in these cooling boxes, which is great. We're gonna go ahead and open up the silver lining right here. One of the great things about Daily Harvest is you can make your boxes completely customizable. So we've got everything from lattes to soups, breakfast smoothies, and a new product I'm trying for the first time this week, which is they're flat breads. I'm really excited to try these out and I'll take you through and let you know exactly what I think of them. Daily Harvest has recently made some changes to their packaging. So for instance, one of my favorite meals is their beet and avocado poke, which has always come in this packaging. And they're switching it up. This is my first delivery in the new fully recyclable and compostable packaging. Everything shipped from Daily Harvest can be safely stored in the freezer until you're ready to use it. So I'm going to go ahead, unbox everything, pop it in my freezer, and throughout the week I'll be taking you through my meals. So I'm getting ready to make lunch for Nate and I today, and we are going to have the Daily Harvest sweet potato and wild rice hash. This is my first time trying the new packaging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just for reference, the original old packaging was in these cups. And um, this serving was about 210 calories. Now, the new servings are actually, I believe it's 310, yes. Uh, and you can see how to prepare the meal all of the nutritional information and the ingredients right on the packaging. And again, this is completely recyclable and compostable, so that's great. You can prepare Daily Harvest in the microwave or on the stove top. I rarely use the microwave, but just so you can see how uh, most of the bowls are made, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare one stove top, one in the microwave. They're both about four to five minutes each, so here we go. One of the things I've really been enjoying about California's safer at home, uh, stay at home order is I get to have lunch every day with this guy. <laughs> so he is going to give me his honest opinion about the new uh, Daily Harvest sweet potato and wild rice hash. Can we stay over? Let's eat. All right. This is good. You like it? I do. I, I agree. I like this one. Can you tell just by the portion that you're getting a little bit more in this new packaging? Yeah, I can. So were these uh, cooked on the stovetop or in the microwave? So I cooked here as regular, like we normally do it on the stovetop, and I did mine in the microwave in the new packaging. I wonder if there's a taste difference. Oh, uh, you should try it. I didn't notice. Okay. So let's, give me a bite of yours. Let's uh, check let's it out. Um, yeah, tell me what you think. Okay. It's pretty comparable. Yeah. I, I think it's about the same. I agree. Yeah. We both cleared our plates. <laughs> so I say the sweet potato wild rice hash is a win. And uh, we were talking, and I think the only difference that we really noticed about um, the microwave uh, versus stovetop is the sweet potatoes have a little lighter um, texture, but comparable and tasty. Absolutely. So both delicious. Till the next meal. All right. <laughs> Nick and I both have our personal Daily Harvest favorites. Yeah, I definitely like the broccoli and cheese balls as well as the lattes. Mm, those are good. And I could eat avocado beet poke every single day. But Daily Harvest has just released something new, and it is their flatbreads. So today we're going to go ahead and try the spinach and artichoke. Yep, and the uh, tomato and cremini. We'll tell you what we think. 
we are polishing off these flatbreads. And my first impression is these are a veggie lover's dream. I mean, they are jam-packed with veggies and, and really yummy. Yeah, and there's a, a really good uh, tasty cream sauce on the artichoke and spinach flatbread. I am a huge artichoke fan and I love spinach and that sauce really pulls it all together. Absolutely. So I think we'll be ordering these again. Definitely. Another product Daily Harvest offers, which both Nate and I are huge fans of, are their lattes. Now, Nate is a big fan of the chocolate, and I love anything turmeric, so the turmeric is my favorite. They come in packs of three, little pods like this, and uh, I'm gonna make one for me and one for Nate. Open it on up, and then I pop mine in the blend tech. You could go ahead and uh, just put this in a hot cup and pop it in the microwave or in any sort of uh, blender too. All right, drop your little pod, pop the lid on, and then uh, this just gets blended for 30 seconds. And it's just that easy. Because I uh, used milk that had already been heated up, this is good to go. And I hope you can see how frothy this latte is going to be. I just took Nate his latte so he can enjoy that in the office while he works. And I'm gonna make my turmeric. And even made with water, this is extra frothy. These lattes are a wonderful treat on their own. However, I really enjoy pairing them in the afternoon with Daily Harvest's Bite Snacks. So these are little treats, uh, one bite. They recently released espresso uh, bean and tahini, which is kind of a sweet salty. They have uh, a chickpea chocolate, little mini chocolate chip cookie taste. And my personal favorite happens to be the coconut lemon which pairs brilliantly with the turmeric latte. I'm a creature of habit when it comes to breakfast. I find that's what works best for me. So for over three years, I've had the same uh, green tea mango smoothie that I make from scratch almost every morning for breakfast, long before daily harvest. But Nate likes to switch things up, and sometimes for a mid-morning snack, we love their smoothies. Uh, and they also have quick oats and chia bowls as well, so those can be fun snacks. This morning, I'm gonna make a mid-morning snack for Nate and I. He loves the uh, chocolate and uh, coffee, the cold brew and almond is what I'm gonna make for him this morning, though, and then I'm gonna have a carrot cinnamon smoothie. So they're super easy to make. Pop off the lid and take the lining off. All the ingredients are right there. All you need to do is add your milk of choice to the top. And then pour it in your blender. And blend. Just about 30 seconds. You have a wonderful coffee smoothie to go. I'm gonna take this to Nate in his office clean this out and make my own. The Daily Harvest smoothies are incredibly diverse. Uh, my favorite sweet treat has to be the mint cacao. It's like an amazing chocolate mint shake. And there are lots of uh, coffee, but also fruity flavors. I like adding sparkling water to the matcha pineapple, but I'm gonna go ahead and make my carrot cinnamon. Just imagine an amazing carrot cake in a smoothie. We've got walnuts, fresh carrots, sweet potato, cinnamon, nutmeg, and banana in here. For an incredibly fast meal or treat in about 30 seconds, you have a great smoothie. And just like that, we have an amazing meal or a delicious treat like dessert in a cup.
for joining me for a week of daily harvest at my house. It has been an incredible blessing to have all of my meals delivered so I don't have to go to the store. And if you're interested in checking out Daily Harvest for yourself, you can go to their website. I'm going to include my personal code right down here so that you can get a discount as well. Thanks for joining me this week. And for more information, check out my blog at flyingdawnmarie.com. Until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go, even if it's just your own kitchen. Natural smile. 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 Natural sm